Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. This piece of shit. Okay, folks, uh, let's see what we can do with this one. This is an interesting one. Uh, shows my ignorance of celebrities. So it's a Women's Weekly, it's an old magazine that I had bought a while back. And we're interested in this article showing apparently Jessica Rowe and Peter Overton. I thought Peter Overton was married. I didn't think he, he, he was with... So it says here, Jessica Rowe, why wasn't she become... Jessica Overton. So obviously they're not married. I don't know for sure, folks. I'm just interested in getting my shit to go to air on the 6 o'clock news, which he happens to just read uh, a lot of the time. And I don't know much about celebrities. I'm not, I don't really care either. Uh, but they're a part of life in the TV world. So... I've got to accept that, but I'm not good with celebrities, folks. I thought he was married. I thought he was married. See, I'm ignorant. Uh, ignorant, folks, ignorant. And that's come up looking really quite interesting, intriguing. Uh, I like this slight, subtle distortion of Peter Ogden's head. I think we're going to use that little section, that corner. It's kind of amusing. It's almost real, but it's slightly distorted. Slightly, ever so slightly, which I like. But I'm really trying to get my stuff to go to air on the 6 o'clock news. Trying to get in touch with my partner, Luigi, who I want to marry. I'm not interested in living in sin, as they called it, in as people call it. Sometimes when you're living with someone and you're having sex and shit like that, uh, I'm not interested in that. Luigi isn't either. We want to tie the knot and tie it properly and show each other as much love as we can because, you know, love is important in a relationship. Uh, and friendship as well, folks. Friendship, I... I never got to marry Luigi because I didn't think it was going... To, that Luigi really wanted to go beyond friendship... Uh, I wanted to separate relationship from friendship when I was young and I know that that was a big mistake. I got myself into all sorts of shit. I had all sorts of bad uh, relationships that involved sexual abuse for the most part and other abuse. So I'm not happy and I'm trying to get my stuff out there on the 6pm news. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. I think we've made it way, way, way too big. <laughs> Uh, but basically I'm trying to get out there and it's not as easy as it looks, folks. It's not as fucking easy as it looks. I'm competing with all sorts of news items and I just can't... S trying to get the formula right. I'm trying to uh, make it appealing and as well as maybe a little bit on the controversial side. And that's come up looking really quite interesting with Peter Overton and his big head. I do think we're going to enlarge it a little bit bigger, maybe on the vertical. Um, but it's a very distorted image. With a, it's, it's quite subtle. You can just see the shape of his head is just slightly amused, amusing. Uh, but I didn't know that they were living together. I thought they... I thought Peter Overton was married, and I thought that the chemistry he has with Amber Sherlock, who I think is married, I think she's married, um, I could be wrong, uh, who knows, but they seem to exude a certain chemistry between each other, and I just find that so annoying, 
because, you know, I just believe that when you're married to someone, you got to love them and you got to treat them with the utmost respect and not uh, play up. Uh, and I just thought that Peter Overton and Sham- uh, Amber Sherlock were just, like, really getting flirty with each other on the news show. And I just get so annoyed with that chemistry that I see. Because I'm, I'm a person who doesn't believe in 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 um, flirting, especially when you're in a relationship and especially when you're married, especially when you're married. You've got to be totally committed. That's my opinion. Because if I was with Luigi and I got married to him and he started perving on people uh, that were not me, I'd be extremely hurt. I would be absolutely, absolutely upset. It would make me cry. It would be awful. It would be like the world had ended. So when you're flirting with people, you've got to consider what's it going to do to your relationship, you know? Is it going to to ruin your relationship and then you'll regret it and you'll end up in divorce and all this complication that goes with divorce? Uh, And basically, yeah, you, you just can't just play around. And You know, once you're married, you've got to make sure you marry the right person. You don't want to marry the wrong person because that's what happens. And shit happens. And then, yeah, you end up a divorcee. And I don't believe in marriage after divorce. So, you know, unless, of course, the the old cle- the thing in the marriage vows goes, till death do you part. So you've got to honour them for the rest of your life till death do you part. I don't know the exact wording, but along those lines, folks. So, yeah, I don't like flirting, folks. It would hurt my feelings if I caught Luigi flirting. It would upset me. It would hurt me. It would betray my trust. Even if he just looked at a woman in a bikini on the beach, it would hurt. And that's coming from my perspective. So it would hurt. So, yeah, I don't like the way Peter Overton and Amber Sherlock flirt on the... appear to flirt. So, enough of that. But, anyway... Let's see if we can make this piece a special. Interesting piece. Peter Overton and Jessica Rowe, I think that's her name. I don't know what she does. She's a TV personality of some kind. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. I like that bit in the middle there. I think I can now call this demo. Quits.